As per request, this is a basic how to play jury video. Uh, so first off, I'll cover her, um, just her buttons and specials and what they're good for. Standing light punch is three frames and has really good range. Um, it's it's an excellent button. Uh, all of her lights are around. Well, uh, both of her light punches are plus two on block, and all of her lights are pretty much the same on hit, just plus four all around. So, uh, she can, uh, apply pressure with lights pretty easily. She can't get, um, three lights in a row. Well, oh, wait, no, she can't. She can get, uh, standing light punch, light punch, light kick, and then you can cancel that into anything that combos off of lights. So, standing light punch used to be a good anti-air, and then they kept nerfing it, and now it, now it finally doesn't work anymore. So, uh, crouching light punch is also pretty decent. Uh, four frame startup, standing light kick, four frame startup. It's um, only uh, plus one on block, but it has like uh, it has a ton of active frames. It can be uh, it's a really good meaty in, in certain situations if you have precise setups. And uh, crouching light kick has really good range and is also a three frame startup. Uh, standing medium punch. Oh, uh, Standing medium punch is a five frame startup. It links into this target combo. Standing medium punch, forward hard punch. Uh, standing medium punch has uh, is plus five on hit, is uh, plus two on block, and um, is uh, one of her her basic combo starters. Point blank, uh, it can be uh, you can combo off of it from about this far away. It doesn't have very long range. It has shorter range than her standing light punch. Uh, crouching medium punch is zero on block, only plus two on hit. It's mainly used to um, buffer. It has more active frames than her other medium buttons, except for standing medium kick. So you can use this to buffer into uh, the medium flip kick, the heavy stock, fuarenkyak. Um or EX Fuha. Then we have standing medium kick, which is uh, a five frame startup. Uh, it hits twice, it has a bunch of active frames. The first hit is special cancelable, and uh, it's minus four on block, but it has really good range. Uh, then crouching medium kick, which just like standing medium, uh, crouching medium punch. These are both uh, six frame startup. Um, this is a really long-reaching low. It reaches slightly farther than crouching medium punch, but uh, it does not combo into the same things. Uh, uh, the crouching medium kick cannot combo into any of the flip kicks, whereas the crouching medium punch can. Then we have uh, standing hard punch, which is a good anti-air. It's eight frame startup. Uh, it's a decent buffer. You can buffer it into the medium flip kicks or uh, some other stuff as well. Uh, crouching hard punch is okay. It's not used uh, terribly frequently. It's a crush counter button, but it's very, very short range. It's also an anti-air, but it's it's slower than her uh, standing hard punch or her her uh, uh, invincible anti-air uppercut. Um, but it's a slightly better crush counter than her standing hard kick. Standing hard kick, which is. Uh, pretty long range. It's minus four on block. Uh, I believe its startup is around 14 or 15 frames. And uh, it has crush counter properties. It also goes over lows. Uh, crouching hard kick is pretty decent. It has decent range for low. It's about minus 12 on block. And uh, it is eight frame startup as well as uh, the standing hard punch. And uh, back hard kick is uh, a unique attack. It's seven frame startup. It hits twice. It hits uh, from slightly farther away than standing light punch does. The first hit does. Uh, so this is pretty decent for uh, some frame traps and checks on the opponent. And uh, its cancel window is very close. Uh, it moves very far forward. So at any range where she can connect like both hits, you can cancel it into the, uh, the heavy uppercut. Uh, she also has her overhead, which has pretty decent range, uh, but unless she's in very specific uh, circumstances, um, she won't really be able to uh, combo off of this. Uh, 
It's uh, normally zero on hit, and it's probably like minus six or minus seven on block. Minus six. Now for her specials, uh, first her pinwheels. Um, her default light pinwheel is uh, actually throw invincible frame one. It's a seven frame startup. It, uh, the, uh, it hits twice. The first hit um, just hits regardless, and the second hit only hits uh, standing opponents, so it won't hit the opponent if they're crouching. But uh, when it actually hits, it uh, forces a stand anyways on the first hit, so that doesn't matter. It's mainly just uh, what that means is that if you do this move regularly, it's only minus three on block. But if the uh, opponent is crouch blocking, it's minus eight. This can be a decent like check in certain situations because it's very fast at seven frame startup and it has a very long range much longer than any of her buttons, but uh, the risk of someone crouch blocking it is uh, uh, pretty great, so so long as you're very confident the opponent will at least be standing regardless of if they're getting hit by it or blocking, it, uh, it can be a decent thing to go for sometimes. It's also, like I said, frame one throw invincible. This is one of the few things you can, uh, this is one of the only things you can combo off of your lights without having either stocks or meter. So, uh, it has that going for it. It's, uh, the main thing that you can combo off of your crouching medium kick. Medium pinwheel is an anti-air. It's, uh, invincible to, uh, aerial attacks. And heavy pinwheel uh, hits further on the ground, whereas um, medium pinwheel hits further into the air. So say you do the uh, this target combo and to the uh, the heavy pinwheel, uh, it, you're hitting fewer hits than if you would do the medium pinwheel. So the medium pinwheel does more damage because uh, the heavy the medium pinwheel hits further up and the heavy pinwheel uh, hits on the ground. Heavy pinwheel, so long as you're close enough, you can combo it off of lights. But uh, if you're too far away, it won't work. Her uh, flip kicks are pretty decent. They can be used in a, a variety of situations. Um, the medium flip kick is, is the one that you're normally going for for a, a basic knockdown without having any, any other resources to spend. And uh, it's knock the knockdowns on these are not uh, the best in uh, Jury's kit, so that's why if you have other things to go for, it's probably a better idea to go for those other things. EX, pin uh, EX flip kick is uh, completely projectile invincible, and it's o only minus two on block. It's also a launcher. You can combo off of it with um, uh, the uh, heavy pinwheel. Or a number of other things. And uh, as for her stocks, she has uh, her, her when she uh, charges one stock uh, with this attack. It is very fast. It's capable of comboing off of lights, and it's only minus two on block, which makes it uh, you can charge stocks in neutral, in pressure, things like that. Uh, this move will nullify one hit of a projectile. And uh, you can combo off of the launcher with uh, uh, if you have meter. As for the uh, stock moves, uh, the light one is the projectile, the medium one is this. It is not an overhead, but uh, it puts her into the air, which means that it's throw invincible, so it can be used as a throw bait. And uh, the heavy one is uh, this spear kick thing. So uh, these are minus two. Uh, point blank, this is minus two on block. This is minus four, and this is minus six. These can be canceled into each other and canceled into a B skill. So the, uh, the light one, probably one of the most useful ones, can be used uh, in pressure. It can be used to keep the other ones safe on block. Say, if you're going to just charge in with this, you could keep it safe on block by canceling it into the projectile. 
Uh, when she throws the projectile, it's unique compared to some other projectiles in that she stays crouching during the animation. So she can use the projectile while low profiling some stuff that uh, other characters that throw projectiles wouldn't be able to. The projectile lasts for, uh, it doesn't go full screen, but it lasts for a pretty long time, especially considering um, how slow it moves, so this is a really useful move. But uh, this, uh, the projectile itself can uh, also crawls pretty low along the ground, so it uh, interacts strangely with other projectiles, and uh, some characters can get over it a little bit easier. Like so. So the, the light one is the most useful in a, a variety of situations. The medium one uh, is uh, what you can use to uh, extend your combos in mid-screen a lot. Uh, and really uh, extend the damage that you can get compared to like that too. That is what you get with the medium one. And uh, the heavy one, uh, the medium one is also uh, a useful throw bait. And the heavy one uh, can be used to get uh, conversions off of lights buffers it has uh, a really good knockdown where you can forward dash twice for your oki uh, you can cancel the end of it into charging a v-skill and uh, still have a frame advantage if the opponent chooses to quick rise and uh, this is also uh, Jerry's best uh, move into uh, activating v-trigger Beyond that, we have our EX moves. Uh, I already talked about EX, EX flip kick. Um, EX pinwheel is a fully invincible reversal. And uh, this move is also very useful for uh, a lot of her combos. And uh, rarely used, but the first hit of this attack does nullify a projectile. This is also only minus two on block, so it's pretty easy to uh, try to use it to hit confirm. Single hit lows or things like that. Because it's not too big of a risk. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about uh, Jury's combos. So, her best combo routes are usually, without uh, having any of the stocks or any of that, the best combos are usually off of her target combo, standing medium punch forward hard punch. Uh, with absolutely no meter or stocks, she can get uh, that target combo into the medium pinwheel, and that's the best damage she's going to get. Uh, standing medium punch also links by itself. Uh, it's very difficult to hit confirm standing medium punch in a single hit into the target combo. But uh, you can do standing medium punch into uh, the first hit of standing medium kick, which you can cancel into the medium flip kick. Or if uh, you're certain that you did your standing medium punch point blank, you can cancel it into the heavy pinwheel for very slightly more damage, but uh, less corner carry. Most of our lights will link into each other, uh, crouching light kick can combo into either crouching light punch or standing light punch and off of two lights she can almost always get uh, the heavy pinwheel and uh, not specifically combos but she has good buffers in neutral into in uh, crouching medium punch into medium flip kick or standing hard punch into the flip kick or standing medium kick is the one you're usually going to see because uh, it it works as a poke but if the opponent also sticks something uh, into the first hit of it it also works as a buffer at the same time so this is a really good move and uh, like I already said she can get a uh, back hard kick into heavy pinwheel And even if she doesn't have uh, the V-Skill fully charged, you can still get a side switch 
if you uh, confirm a hit into the target combo by doing the target combo into an uncharged B skill. Like so. Beyond that, like I already said, from uh, any real distance, she can combo her lights into uh, the uh, light pinwheel. The, uh, the distance that she's at from her opponent after the light pinwheel depends on how far away she was when she used it. So using it right here leaves her about like that far away. Doing it as like a throw bait or a, or a, a wake up throw invincible move leaves her in range for a throw. So Ah yes, of course. And uh, when you uh, launch the opponent with uh, the target combo, you can also use that opportunity to store one stock and still combo off of the off of it with uh, the light tesserin for your meterless option you can also combo off of it with the uh, ex fuha like so so speaking of her fuha stocks the light one can be used to get extended combos in the corner But in mid-screen, it's used to uh, extend your uh, combos with your target combo. So, there's a, a large variety of things she can do off of uh, her target combo if she has a light projectile and um, any combination of other stocks or meter or charge to be skill. So, she can launch them with that and then have them land on the fireball. This only works uh, mid-screen, it doesn't work in the corner. And uh, the default meterless combo that she can get for m the most damage is she can do that into the heavy flip kick. Like so, you have the option of comboing that into super. For uh, better Oki, she can also choose to uh, forward dash into a light pinwheel. She can also forward dash into an EX Fuha or a heavy Fuha into an EX Fuha if she wants to. Uh, if she's nearby the corner, uh, I guess I'll explain that now. So yeah, the uh, heavy Fuha has a really good knockdown just by default and, and can be left as is. You can combo off of it with a uh, medium one, uh, which just adds a bit of damage, doesn't really change that much else. And you can combo off of it in the corner with the medium pinwheel. However, if your opponent is already in the air when you hit them with this move, uh, you can combo off of it in mid-screen with EX Fuha, or if you're nearby the corner, or in the corner, you can combo off of it with EX Tesserin, or Pinwheel, which will do more damage. So yes, that those are not interchangeable. So if you combo, if you juggle them in the air, medium pinwheel won't work. And if you're hitting them on the ground, EX pinwheel won't work. So anyways, yes, after uh, you hit them with the target combo into projectile, you can also like relaunch them with the EX flip kick, which you can do into that, into whatever. Like so. And one more thing that you can do only off of the target combo is you can throw the uh, fireball. Then you can do the medium stock into the uh, the medium fuha into the heavy fuha, which uh, is normally um, if you hit them with the medium fuha while they're being juggled, it's very difficult to get them back. Uh, to continue the combo with the uh, heavy fuha, but off of that you have enough height. Additionally, if you have your B skill fully charged, you can combo off of pretty much any of these things except for 
uh, heavy Fuha into medium Fuha. Which will just knock them straight to the ground. You'll have to delay your, your B skill very slightly if you do it off of the heavy one, but you can get a full combo and add some extra damage, get a side switch, whatever reason that you want to go for it. So you can mix and match with those, uh, pretty much uh, given those rules. Uh, when you the things you can combo into the medium uh, Fuha are uh, you can combo standing medium kick into it, standing hard punch, and uh, crouching hard punch, as well as a few things on counter hit. But you can't really take those bets. So yes, yeah, so you can do standing medium punch, standing medium kick into the medium stock. Hard punch, you can use as like a shimmy throw bait into that, and then off of the medium stock, you can combo standing medium kick, crouching medium punch, or crouching medium kick. Standing medium kick, if you want to go into the heavy pinwheel afterwards, you want to do standing medium kick. The rest don't really matter. You can do uh, any of them into any of them. Well, actually, you can't do... You shouldn't really go for crouching uh, medium kick. Because you can't go do that into any of the pin the flip kicks, so yeah. Corner, you can uh, do more combo stuff with your projectile. Uh, your projectile, by default, is plus two on hit. But uh, the further out it is, the more plus it is. And uh, when they're in the corner, they don't get pushed back when they get hit by it. So you can do... Um, from certain ranges, you can set up usually any range, so you, like standing medium punch into standing medium kick into fireball is usually enough to be plus four. You can combo off that with light kick into light tesserin or EX that. Usually you want to go for that if you have the uh, something to combo off of a light with that's not just tesserin, because tesserin won't leave you in throw range. And uh, now, let's move on to counter hit combos, which are important for uh, pressuring or when you're punishing a reversal. So, uh, if you just land like a, a, a point blank hit, standing medium punch, uh, you're not really going to change your combo up very much. You're still going to do like standing medium kick into whatever. But uh, her, her go-to counter hit stuff uh, that's really useful is... Uh, stand it, uh, any of her lights really, uh, mainly a uh, standing light punch is counter hit enough to go into crouching medium punch. So is, so yeah, crouching light punch, crouching medium punch will always work from any range. And uh, standing light punch, crouching medium kick will always work from any range. So those are your go-to's. If you're pressuring, you can go for that, and then you can combo that on hit on counter at confirm into a flip kick. Uh, her furthest range uh, counter hit confirm is actually that's not true. Hang on. So yeah, for her her counter hit stuff, standing medium punch will link into uh, crouching medium punch or crouching medium kick. On counter hit. Standing light punch will link into uh, crouching medium punch or medium kick on counter hit. So we'll crouching light punch. Standing hard punch. This is probably the, the biggest one for, for punishing um, things that are, are counter hit punishable like uh, reversals. Standing hard punch point blank is plus six on counter hit. So you can link that into all your big stuff with the target combo. Crouching medium kick is plus four on counter hit. So you can combo off that with lights. 
And uh, her crush counters are standing heavy kick and crouching heavy punch. Off of standing heavy kick crush counter in neutral, you can get a forward dash and then you'll be plus four so you can go into lights. You should always be able to do at least one standing light punch into the heavy uppercut. But uh, sometimes you can get more before you're uh, out of range for the heavy uppercut. And uh, if you get a hit closer, you can just walk forwards into some stuff, like a uh, standing heavy punch. Target combo. Crouching heavy punch is very short ranged, but if you get a crush counter with that, you can forward dash and be plus five, which lets you go straight into the target combo. And that's about it, really, for uh, for her counter hit stuff. Alongside counter hit, we have to talk about uh, her ability to land those counter hits. So, uh, moving on from that, I'll talk about uh, first her her actual like frame perfect block strings, and then I'll talk about uh, stuff that you can do while walking forward and pressuring the opponent. As for her uh, block strings, she has pretty decent ones. Uh, her light punches are good on block. Uh, her standing medium punch is also plus two on block, and she has uh, both her standing medium punch and standing medium kick are five frame startup, which means that all she needs is plus two to be able to use them. Her crouching medium punch is zero on block, which is, is fine. So by default, with no stocks or anything, she can get, uh, like, say, ch crouching light punch, standing medium punch into, uh, crouching medium punch or crouching medium kick. She can also do, like, any combination of lights, ending in standing light kick for light confirms. Uh, this is important because this is one of the few ways she can beat back dashes. Uh, because neither of her crush counters are, um, particularly great for dealing with backdashes. So she has to catch them before they even, uh, get into the air. And, uh, her mediums won't do the job for that if she's only plus two. You can also, uh, there's, uh, mess around with, uh, the frames on a lot of her block strings because minus two for her like this range isn't too bad because her standing medium kick really dominates this space so you can do stuff like crouching light punch standing medium kick into a, a stock and then be minus two and then poke and buffer with standing medium kick so that if they press a button into it they'll get hit by the standing medium kick here let me put him to reversal with a three framer. So those frame traps work. Oh, that stuff works. But yeah, if you, uh, catch the opponent at a minus two situation after blocking that, but you're uh, in range for your, um, yeah, if, if they're minus two after blocking that at a pretty decent distance, but they're not in range for their light, you can buffer that standing medium kick, and if they press a button into it like that, they usually get hit. Like so. So because of that, you can sometimes mess around with what frame advantage you're at because uh, standing medium kick usually beats a lot of other stuff. Anyways, yeah, uh, crouching light punch into standing medium punch is probably the most recommended basic frame trap. And then you can uh, do whatever you want for your next action depending on like how many stocks you have. Because uh, if you get the counter hit with the uh, crouching light punch, you'll be able to combo straight into the medium punch and then you can go from that straight into uh, the target combo. But beyond that, if you have uh, the fireball, you can extend your block strings by a bit because 
at certain ranges when you cancel moves into the block into the fireball you will be uh by default it's minus two on block if you use point blank but if canceled from a little bit further away you can be significantly more plus so uh, a, a basic extended frame trap sequence for jury would be like crouching light punch standing medium punch standing medium kick into the fireball and then she's plus five and then she can um once again do the buffer with standing medium kick right, right there a lot of people like um throwing the fireball and then checking the opponent with a hard kick at a range where it won't be uh, punishable on block and then um so you can use the fireball in a lot of situations and uh that pressure gets extra extended in the corner because uh, they're not getting pushed back as far by the fireball itself so you can go like crouching light punch standing medium punch standing medium kick fireball walk forward slightly standing medium punch into a stock and then buffer standing medium pit standing medium kick into uh, the um, flip kick and uh, you get a very extended block string sequence which is uh, extremely difficult or impossible for them to poke out of. When you have the fireball, this can be a useful um, hit confirm because uh, if you do standing medium kick, oh, wrong one. Yeah, if you do standing medium kick or any button that will automatically combo, see, you could do like crouching medium kick into the fireball, but that won't combo on hit usually. It'll just uh, throw the fireball out later to be at a better better frame advantage but if you do a uh, standing medium kick it'll uh, if the first hit connects it will always combo cleanly into the fireball which means that if you have either the V skill the fully charged V skill or the uh, the heavy fuha you can combo off of that by canceling the fireball into one of those two things. Like so. Technically, you can also do this if you have V-Trigger. Because you can throw the fireball and then uh, activate V-Trigger. So yeah, those are really useful block strings. And then um, from further out, you can get uh, a little more dicey with some of the stuff that you do and how you cancel the fireballs. Things like that. Some things that uh, jury players like going for is like, say, slightly delayed block strings, like crouching light punch into back hard kick. And then they can cancel one of those hits into uh, the the uh, Fuha stock at, um, at a random point. And then, uh, because it's, uh, slightly hard to react to, they can immediately check again with, like, a, like a standing light kick or a standing medium kick or whatever they want to do after that. So those are the frame traps that you can do just to make sure that the opponent's not pressing buttons at all. But, uh, if you want to, once they're, they've stopped pressing buttons on your, your perfect frame trap series, then uh, you can you can have the liberty to start moving or dashing forward. So you also need to know what counter hit things you can check them with at every single range if you're walking forwards to stop them if they press a button while you're moving. So by distance, uh, the things that you can check the opponent with and combo off of on hits are if you're point blank, you can check them with uh, any of your basic block strings or slightly farther away, you can do standing medium punch and then you can combo off that with standing medium kick or whatever else you would normally do that into. You can also combo uh, check them at about this range with crouching light punch, crouching medium punch. From further away, you can combo uh, on counter hit, standing medium punch at any range that you can land it into uh, EX Fuha, which is 7 frame startup. Or... Light Pinwheel, which is 7 frame startup. These are not particularly useful. 
You can also uh, check the opponent by doing standing medium punch into a stock. And then that's only minus two on block, and usually uh, Jerry can check the opponent with standing medium kick afterwards, and you can combo off of it on hit if you have meter. Uh, further than that, she can do uh, standing light punch, crouching medium kick, and that will combo on counter hit. And uh, slightly further than that, further than um, standing light punch, she can get both hits of back hard kick. And uh, further than that, she can get the first hit of standing medium kick into the fireball. And combo off that if she has the heavy stock or the fully charged B skill. And beyond further than that, she can do uh, anything into the heavy stock, the heavy fuha, and she can keep it safe on block by canceling it into the uh, light fuha. So that's it. That's the essence of uh, Jerry's pressure game. Um, you can check the opponents with uh, standing medium punch, but. Uh, Standing light punch, uh, harassing them with that is pretty good. Uh, you have to do things more deliberately. Uh, you can't just necessarily like walk forward and press one button and expect to be able to hit confirm that into a combo. You have to choose what you're going to do and then combo off that if it works. And uh, really make more use of your in and out and your mobility and um, charging more stocks. So now that that's covered, let's uh, deal with her beat trigger. So she has two beat triggers like everyone else, but really it's just the one. Beat trigger two uh, drains the opponent's meter, or rather steals the opponent's meter. Uh, you can see the rate that it does it. If the opponent's in this circle, then it steals the opponent's meter at that rate. Yeah, this continues to steal the opponent's meter. Uh, while they're getting hit. Uh, so they won't gain as much meter as they normally would for getting hit or blocking attacks. So long as you use moves that keep you right next to them. But the problem is the, um... Well, one, the problem is it's not that beneficial in the first place. Like, uh, uh, Jury doesn't really have, like, the most abusable EX meters. Like, if Akuma could just do... EX demon flip all day he, he would have some benefit for having more EX gauge because he can just throw that out whenever Ibuki could do EX kunai whenever but uh, Jerry doesn't really get to like have abusable EX moves that she can just do See this will be useful for like Cody who can just keep doing EX Zonk and and staying close to the opponent on block but Jerry doesn't really have very sticky pressure, so it's difficult for her to even keep that, that distance to the opponent. The distance is also so small that in a lot of her combos, it doesn't even... Like, the opponent doesn't even stay within the circle. And, uh, the best thing about this V-Trigger by far is the activation, where it pulls them in. Which can be used to confirm into V-Trigger or uh, combo into V-Trigger from much farther away than she can actually do by activating into her V-Trigger 1. But, uh, it still sucks. She also can't, uh, cancel it off of, like, doing, uh, some of her other specials. Like those, she can't combo cancel into V-Trigger in this. So, oh, it's just not that good. Like, the, the most you can really do is make it so that the opponent can't possibly have a super. But, yeah. So, her V-Trigger 1 is really good. It allows her to, uh, cancel all of her normals except for, like, her command normals, like her overhead, into, uh, into each other. And it gives her, uh, the freedom to throw out her, uh, stock inputs whenever. And it changes her light stock into a two-hitting projectile that causes a knockdown. Which is both good and bad. Because it's it's difficult to combo off of. Because it knocks him down really quickly. 
But yeah, anyways, this V-Trigger is really solid. Uh, it allows her to combo and, and, and pressure from really far away. It lets her cancel all of her buttons into these stock inputs. So anyways, let's, uh, it also lets her, um, jump cancel. Well, okay, first of all, it lets her, when she cancels any of her buttons into standing heavy punch, it, uh, launches the opponent, which, uh, allows you to get, uh, double Fuha combos. And... It changes her regular target combo, her standing medium punch, forward hard punch. It allows her to jump cancel it. She also gets, like, the ability to chain all of her jumping attacks as well. So, yeah. So, as for combos, there's, like, a massive variety of things that you can do. But for the most part, you want to keep it at, like, things that you can confirm into. Any of your lights... So, at, at any range, you can really combo your, your, your buttons into the standing heavy kick, so long as it's not off of a light other than standing light kick. The standing light kick will chain into the standing heavy kick, and then once you get to the standing heavy kick, you can cancel that into the heavy fuha to get your really good knockdown. One thing to note about this is that uh, you can also cancel the heavy fuha or any, any of the things into EX Fuha. And uh, the difference being is that canceling it into the heavy Fuha costs a lot of the V Trigger timer. But uh, canceling it into the EX Fuha actually doesn't cost anything. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, all of your lights will like combo into your mediums. And then your like standing medium kick or your crouching medium kick. We'll all link into the hard kick, and then depending on the range, if you're close enough, you can cancel the hard kick into the standing heavy punch. And then get the, uh, extended combos. But, uh, other otherwise, you're just going to be comboing straight from the hard kick into the, uh, the heavy fuha. Or, or, or the EX fuha. Uh, this changes Jury's, uh, this makes it so that Jury can no longer combo the first hit of standing medium kick into, uh, into the medium stock, because if she could, then she would have an infinite. So now the only buttons that she can combo into it are, like, her heavy punches. You want to try to avoid chaining attacks that you don't need to, like standing medium punch, standing medium kick. There's no reason to do that, point blank. You can just combo that normally. Uh, you don't want to waste that B gauge by uh, canceling things in situations where you don't have to. That includes uh, in combos and on block as well. A lot of your frame traps you'll just leave as, as your normal frame traps that you would have done. But you also get additional frame traps in this V-Trigger, as well as additional conversions. One of the best ones is you can catch the opponent low from really far away with Crouching Light Kick, and then cancel Crouching Light Kick into Standing Medium Kick into Standing Hard Kick, and then combo off of that. So yeah, you can convert uh, your hits from really far away. I'd recommend doing things like into crouching medium kick or into standing medium kick and just leaving it like that. The frames on her buttons uh, change a lot when she cancels them. So like that becomes minus 7, that becomes minus 5 on block. So you have to be careful with how you space those and cancel them. So yeah, basically... What you can do on block is that you can cancel a lot, of, a lot of your buttons. A lot of your buttons will create frame traps with standing hard kick. So if I put him to reversal 3-framer, I can do, like, say, crouching medium kick into uh, standing hard kick, and that will create a crush, crush counter frame trap. Which I can combo off of uh, normally if I get the hit. 
But uh, the longer you chain them, the the more the, there there will be gaps. So if I do like standing light punch, standing medium kick. So if I do standing medium kick into the uh, hard kick, I get an actual crush counter frame trap. But if I do like standing light punch, standing medium kick, standing hard kick, there's a bigger gap. So you have to be aware of that sort of stuff. So I would recommend just going for like certain things like that and then trying to hit confirm them. And then if you don't hit confirm them, you don't want to cancel on the standing hard kick immediately because standing hard kick into uh, the fireball is not, a is not a true frame trap. So you can't keep that safe on block without spending a lot more gauge. If you, uh, you can create a frame trap with standing hard kick by going into the heavy fuha, but the only way then you can keep that safe is by canceling into the um, light fuha afterwards on block. So if the opponent's just blocking everything and you cancel whatever you're doing into standing hard kick, the only way to stop yourself from getting punished guaranteed is is to uh, spend a lot of V gauge. So you have to spend all that timer and then you're not even plus after that. Yeah, if you cancel into the um, the uh, pr the V trigger version of the projectile, it's um it's it's better on block. It's only minus 1 rather than minus 2, but point blank it's still not plus. So that's why you it's better to like try to hit confirm from a little bit further away. And then if you're you can cancel your things, like you can cancel um any of your buttons into crouching hard kick you can go into. Like so, and you can cancel that into the projectile. You want to cancel into the projectile from not point blank, so further away. So the best buttons for doing that are standing medium kick into the projectile that will help you uh, move in again or crouching hard kick like so all of those hit low so they could if the opponent stops blocking low at any point those will hit so yes jury retains all of her normal frame traps but she also gets those additional ones and uh, additional hit confirms and checks I should mention for uh, comboing into super with Jury, when you're just uh, playing regularly, you can combo uh, light Tesserin or any of your flip kicks into super, but uh, you can't combo any of your stocks into super. If you hit the opponent high enough uh, in a juggle state with uh, the heavy Fuha, and they're in the corner, you can combo off of it with, uh, you can combo off of it with super, but only if you're in the corner. Same with, um, the stock launcher. If you're in the corner, you can combo off of that with super. But other than that, it's mainly just your flip kicks and your light tesserin. When you're in V-Trigger, you need to be aware of this, because if you're planning on comboing into Super for your maximum damage, uh, unless you're in the corner and have uh, those options available to you, like... Like that. Then you're going to need to um, combo straight from your Heavy Kick. So that's the, the, the most of it. Um, I, uh, as for Oki, her best knockdowns are... So she can get anything that she can do into the uh, EX Fuha. She can get one forward dash and get a uh, perfect Oki. Be in range for throws if uh, they back recover. Uh, in the corner, she can do any of that stuff into EX Pinwheel and still be in range. Uh, her flip kicks will not get her Oki if the opponent back recovers. Her uh, heavy pinwheel can get her better Oki than her medium pinwheel in some circumstances. 
but uh, usually the Oki is pretty good. Her heavy kick, Fuha, she can get two forward dashes and stay in the opponent's face. Or she can do charge level one of the beast skill, and then if the opponent back recovers, she doesn't get Oki. She can buffer a, a medium kick at that range. And uh, she really doesn't get Oki off of her um, B skill if the opponent back recovers. Speaking of the B skill, it's a really useful move. Uh, you can cancel into it and, and get some tricky stuff. Like if the opponent's just not looking for it or not ready for it. If you're moving pretty quickly. But uh, if you... Uh, you can also stop the dash by pressing B skill again after you do the dash. The frames on this are usually not very good, but you can do this in some situations to create like weird cross-ups. So you can throw your fireball, and then you can side switch right before it hits to get a cross-up. And then combo off of it like that. But you can also fake the cross-up by stopping your dash. Additionally, uh, when you have the fully charged V skill, uh, it goes through projectiles extremely easily. So you can just see someone do a projectile from anywhere and then just lunge at them from full screen, going through the projectile, punishing it. The uh, V skill, the fully charged V skill, is also really good for uh, punishing people jumping at full screen, especially people who like to uh, jump away from your fireball or anything like that. She also has an air throw and an air target combo. Additionally, there's some weird stuff you can do with uh, her B trigger. Like, say if you uh, combo any of your buttons that aren't heavy kick into the uh, heavy punch launcher, then you can air reset them with the heavy kick because you haven't used it yet, and then go for a throw or something like that. Like so. If you have the B skill fully charged, you can occasionally use it to try and hit confirm, because you can cancel your button straight into it, and then if you see that it was blocked, you can backdash. And if you see that it got a hit, you can release it. Additional things you can do with the uh, heavy kick Fuha, uh, you can use that as a buffer in mid-screen if you think the opponent's going to like come in and dash after you or something. You can throw the fireball and then buffer that into the B skill. So that if the opponent dashes into it or presses a button into it, it'll automatically combo. Like so. Or like that. Another thing you can do, uh, this is really useful once you've activated V-Trigger, is that uh, if the opponent... There's one thing you can do with the regular target combo, which is uh, you can jump cancel it. And this actually doesn't cost any of the B-Gage timer. So this is really useful for like bringing the op your opponent closer to the corner on your combo, your activation combo, without spending any of the gauge that you don't want to waste on an activation combo that has scaled damage. So you can go for something like that instead. And that doesn't cost any of the V-Gauge timer, and it brings them uh, pretty far to the corner. You can also do stuff like... Stuff like that. Uh, her her throws are really good as well. Uh, she stays pretty close to the opponent. Her forward throw is is one of the best. Uh, doesn't have like any corner carry, but uh, she has a really good frame advantage and she stays really close to the opponent. She can walk forward and medium them with the crouching medium kick, which uh, she can do a lot of stuff off of in in B trigger. Off of her back throw, she can meaty them with a standing hard kick. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Those are all the 
the most useful things to uh, be aware of and incorporate into your game plan if you're playing as Jerry.